Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add custom buttons for your customers inside your reseller account inside of Plesk. So the first thing we need to do is log into Plesk control panel. And I'm already here, but I'm going to show you how to get to it. Usually you'll load into the home page and you'll go to tools and utilities. And we'll come down here to Plesk management and we'll click custom buttons. Then we'll click add link to service. And here is where you can give it a button label. So I'm going to create a button for my customers to see that says RootPal ticket support. And you can give it a tooltip, which will look like that tooltip when you hover over something in the menu item. And you'll just say create a ticket here. You can give it a background image, which is this image right here. Um, but you can or actually it's not that image. It's a, it, you can give it a color image. It won't be on the left-hand menu for your customers, but I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna leave this blank for now. I'm not gonna give it a background image. Then you'll wanna select the location of it. Common access adds it to everywhere, I believe. So this is if you want it to be common, commonly accessible on every page uh, that your customer sees. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like first. And then we're going to give it a URL. Make sure to add the HTTPS and these slashes right here. It needs that to be able to work correctly. Uh, open URL in Plesk. We're not going to leave. We want it to open up in a new tab. So we're going to leave that blank. And down here, you can give it some parameters. Um, if you want to pass parameters, you actually can pass parameters to using one of these links right here, but I'm not going to be doing that. So now that we have that all set up, we're going to uncheck this show to me only. So if you have this checked, it will uh, only show for you so you can test it out before pushing it live but I, I'm, I'm ready to push it live. So I'm gonna uncheck this so my customers can see the newly added button. I'm gonna click okay. And there we go. So you can see it, it showed up for here on the left-hand side for me, and you can see the tooltip right there, create a ticket here. And that's the image, the default image it gives you. But your customers aren't gonna see it here on the left-hand side. So let's log in as our customer. We're gonna head over customers. And here's one of our customers. And we're gonna log in as that customer to see what they see. And there you can see it on the right hand side, additional services. It'll say root pal ticket support and root pal ticket support here as well. So if they click this, it should open up in a new tab, the tickets. There we go. Let's head back to administrator, uh, back to our reseller account. We're gonna go back to the custom buttons. And so that was common access. If we add it, add it to website tools, it will only show up right here on this side. If we add it to website tools only, it's gonna show up only on the right top right hand side right here. If we choose the customer's homepage, it'll only show up on additional services right here. And these other ones don't matter because they do not have reseller permission, so you don't have to worry about these. Um, but if you want it on the website and domains of paid subscription, I'm sorry, website tools is not, um, website tools is not here. Website tools actually puts it in the website tools and I'll show you what, what that is right here. So let's go ahead and log in as our customer. And you'll see it right here under website tools, custom services. So if I click custom, custom services, uh, you can see it right here, RuPaul ticket support. And that's why, if let's go back to the tools and utilities, custom buttons, and that's why the parameters open up when you have the website tools because it could pass um, the FTP user, the FTP pass, uh, the cu customer's company name, contact, e contact name, the email, the subscription ID, domain ID, domain alias ID. And so 
because we can add these parameters, right? Let's add uh, the new, let's just add the domain name and we click okay. And let's log back in as our customer. You'll see the domain name down there is in a parameter called dom underscore name on the bottom left. And this is so you can have external, if you're building like external apps or you have custom software development that needs to grab that URL or that parameter, um, it's cool because we can just pass that and you can grab that information uh, and do whatever you want with it. So that's a really cool thing to add to custom services if you're having any external apps or anything that needs to connect or even a ticket system. I think, you know, some ticket systems that require some type of unique ID to pass on to maybe automatically detect that, um, you know, log them into the ticketing system so they don't have to log in. Something like that, if you're developing something like that. So it's just cool that you can pass parameters back and forth. So that's pretty much it. Um, you can create as many custom buttons as you'd like. And so you create another one um, and do what you need to do with it. So yeah, that's it. And if you have any questions or concerns or need help, feel free to create a support ticket or ask us uh, and we'll help you set up creating custom buttons inside your Plesk reseller account. Thank you.